What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So experts are saying that Americans are screwed and I want to address why. Because over the past year, millions and millions of Americans have quit their jobs in search for something better. And according to multiple financial experts, these people could be screwed, not now, not in a month, but potentially in six months to even 18 months. So things are not looking great. Now, we have seen countless stories. We've seen stories like this, where the great resignation, bloodbath begins, means businesses have to rethink hiring. We've seen people that are just quitting their jobs for many people, absolutely no reason. Just the other day, we saw a new survey that says 65% of Gen Zers plan to join the great resignation this year. And another big story is teachers are quitting and major companies are quick to hire them up before anybody else does. Now, here's what experts anticipate. They don't anticipate the great resignation is gonna stop anytime soon. And this is why this is gonna turn into a problem. And let me explain what experts are predicting. And again, this is, this is a little bit of a different perspective. I didn't think of anything like this, but it's true what they're saying. According to employment experts, they say the number one pre reason why people are leaving their jobs is for higher wages. Now, this is normally a very good thing. We see higher wages, we see more job growth, we see a little bit of inflation, but it can't be too much. Now, this has nothing to do with inflation. Many experts, they say they expect companies are gonna continue to provide larger wage increases in 2022 than we are currently seeing because they're trying to entice employees to come and work for them. But it is what comes after this that makes all the difference. And this is where financial experts say Americans could be screwed. Now, first, let me give you a quick little fact from multiple employment studies. They are saying that between about 52 or about 62 to 70% of Americans hate the jobs that they currently have. And out of all those people, about 27% of that has to do with money. So less than 30%, three out of 10 people are saying it's because of money. That means about 70% of people that hate their jobs, they are saying it's because of something else. Now, it's not all about the money. It's all about the job itself. Here's what we know. According to multiple surveys, they're saying some people feel they're overworked and underappreciated. This is one of the big reasons outside of money. Some say there's absolutely no advancement in this field, so they hate the job. Others hate their hours, their bosses, and the job itself. Now, about 30% of people say they don't like the office environment, the pace of the job, the commute to and from work, and there is absolutely no job security. So let's touch on the pandemic for a second, because here's what we found. During the past two years, especially in the initial stages of the, the COVID pandemic, we saw people were stuck at home. They had to work from home. They didn't have to commute to and from work. They were there. They didn't worry about uh, their, their hours because they could set their own hours. And guess what? The American people loved it. The American people absolutely were appreciative of the fact that they could work from home. They could work almost any hours they want to as long as they got their task done. But now let's break down what financial experts are saying. They are saying that the roughly three to 7% raises that we are currently seeing uh, in the jobs market, this is not gonna keep people from hating their jobs and not gonna keep people from uh, in a job that they absolutely don't like. So they expect the great resignation could turn into a major employment shift over the next six to 18 months. A six to 18 months. They, they're saying that when an employee changes jobs again, and this is where things get very scary, 
because I've had this happen to many friends as well. When one of these employees that resigns their current position to go and get something else, they get paid more, they get better benefits, they get a new job, right? A new outlook on life. But then, according to experts, the grass is not greener on the other side, not always. Now, in six to 18 months, when we are potentially in the middle of a recession, okay? Employees are gonna potentially be changing jobs again. Now, here's the problem. According to many employers, if we were to see a recession, and even if it's just a few months or you know, it could be a few years, we don't know. But according to employers, if we go into a recession, they're likely to pay even less than people are making right now. Which this could mean that all these employees that are out there uh, changing jobs, it could mean that they're only temporarily getting a raise. They're getting better benefits, right? They're getting the so-called dream job. But eventually, this could actually bite them. They come, come around and bite them in the butt because yes, they're making more money now, they're getting better benefits now, but what happens if we go into a recession? They hate the job that they currently have, so they switch, they get this new job, but then we head right into a recession. What happens? Well, if they hate their job, they're gonna wanna switch again. But switching their job, changing during the middle of a recession could be catastrophic. This could mean those people are making less money, they have less benefits, they're now stuck in a job that they really don't want, but they are forced to get because they hated their other job. And all this is, is all this is coming because some people are, you know, kind of jumping at that that great resignation title and saying, "Yeah, this is the time." And I can tell you this. What other experts are saying, employment experts are saying is, "Don't switch jobs yet. Don't switch. Stay at your current position. See if you can demand a higher salary, maybe better benefits, maybe a better, uh, you know, work schedule. Maybe you can stay one day at home and work out of the office and experts are saying employment experts are saying to do this because switching especially right now it's just going to cause more issues it's just going to cause more uh it's, it's going to be a little bit difficult in the the new office that you're in because as new employees come in and the existing employees are seeing oh that person just got the same amount of money that i have per hour and i've been here for four or five years guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna go to their boss, they're gonna complain, and if the boss doesn't give them a raise, then they're out of there. But guess what? They get a raise and you're like, well, I do the exact same I do the exact same work as this guy, maybe I should get a raise too. And so it just goes back and forth. So again, right now, it's just gonna be a big back and forth game. But here's what I can tell you. Many people are still gonna switch. Many people are gonna try to find their dream job, and that's perfectly fine. But according to many financial experts and employment experts, Americans could be screwed if they don't actually find their dream job. So if you have any question on this, here's what I, I can tell you. Figure out what you really wanna do, not just over the next six months to a year. Figure out what you wanna do for the next five to 10 years and then determine is the position that you're going to, is that gonna lead you towards that end goal? If the answer is no, don't take that new position. If it's purely financial, and that's all the, the only reason why, is because you're gonna get paid more, financial experts say don't take that job because you will regret that decision and eventually you will come back to a different job, you will be paid less, and you will hate that job even more because number one, it's a new job, number two, you're getting paid less, and number three, that probably wasn't your dream job. So. That's what we know at this time. Again, it's not the greatest news, but I just want to provide this little warning that if you're considering changing jobs just because of finances, experts say this is not the time to do that. So again, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.